Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzleford, and welcome back to Starcom Unknown Space, where we are headed over to a new area, because we are going to go and find out where this uh, signal is coming from uh, that we uh, picked up from a station over there somewhere, uh, which is hopefully going to be an interesting find, because we've still not been in the... Um, where is it? There's a place around here somewhere. It's not there. Oh, wow. Well, I've explored quite a bit, actually, haven't I? I didn't realise I explored quite so much. Ah, here we go. The heretic portal over here. Uh, we need to go through that, but there was a station around there somewhere um, that was uh, sending its signal over here. So, this is, this is where we are expecting to get interesting signal. We are being followed around the area by a devout um, warship which is mighty strong, complete with shields, uh, which we don't have yet, so uh, we need to work on shields at some some point soon, if we can get them. I don't know, I mean, it's most likely that we're going to need the shields from that particular ship, so it's probably that I need to destroy that first before I'll get those shields. Uh, I don't know if I can destroy the particular part of their ship that uh, that has the shields and and therefore glean the shields that way i don't know we'll just have to uh, see what we can do when we actually face that ship and manage to uh, part part ways um between its uh, its its bits and uh, and the rest of it all right we have um got a little bit closer to the planets in this area it's it's not going to be far before we get there now we're slowing down because we're we're, we're nearby Looks like there's a... Wait, wait, wait. There's a thing here. What's this? Dispatch device. Okay. Celestial artifact. This is basically an autonomous drive system with a navigation system uh, and a data bank. Presumably it was used to deliver messages across large distances that were either not connected by warp gates or... Couldn't wait for the next uh, route routed vessel. Uh, the components are not particularly high quality, which would explain why this one's dead. My guess is that it was most uh, more cost effective to send many low cost devices, knowing some would fail. Building one with near certainty of arrival would cost as much as a crewed ship. Okay, the dispatch data banks. Uh, while partially corrupted by radiation from the unshielded drive, contain large amounts of bureaucratic reports, as well as some interesting academic correspondence and research data. Research on the something vault on which has sorry has been proceeding too cautiously. The motivation of question in constructing the Tel Telonian is incredible but a reasonable supposition uh, supposition is that they are an interface okay possible for uh possible for us possible even for themselves too technologically too complex for organic too reliable control the reason uh, constraint protocols may be assumed to have a similar purpose to the safeguard on a plasma torch to prefer accidental several sever, severing of one own uh, the dispatch research data contains an exhaustive compile compilation oh wow my reading's terrible today of what a certain academic uh, has learned regarding reverse engineering Italian constraint protocols which is not much not very much okay fine thanks thanks for all that information uh, massive information dump okay let's continue our search for this uh, for this signal thing that uh, is in this area I presume that it's going to be attached to one of these planets. There's a nice planet over here. Well, that looks like an ocean planet. What the heck heck's this? Oh, that's the dispatch device. Interesting that they've labelled it. Because uh, they don't usually do that. I suppose they might. I don't know. Maybe I should label it. I don't know. Let's do this. Uh, yes, I'll have a survey. That's fine. 
Okay, below the water glittering surface, the team can make out the shadowy outline of a submerged structure after Ensign something rather Lee uh, conducted a discreet reconnaissance dive. The full team enters the facility, which is apparently fully automated, but the access displays show devout markings. After a lengthy investigation, uh, Gleese can Includes this structure has been pros processing tau neutrino signals collecting from collected from various monitoring stations the data is being used uh, to measure the statistical difference between background neutrinos and those generated by churolite in reactors interesting the most recent analysis sample contains additional information d decoded as Sample XXD99 designated the Explorer priority target. This um, disseminates to Elite for blessing. Ah. Uh, after extracting all data from the systems, the team dismantled the facility uh, key components. Excellent. Okay, well, that's not great news, but there is a silver lining besides the acti actual silver. Using this database, we can now research um, deep um, detection in the lab, which may aid in detecting ships outside normal sensor range. Well, we have a big ship over there, but the legendary um, Whiskermung has wiped it out. Let's get over there and see if we can find out what, uh, what was left over by Whiskermung after he destroyed that thing. I am always pleased when Whiskermung comes along and wrecks something big and dangerous. Ah, there's a something over there. Which means it could be something very useful. Oh, look, there's stuff all over the place. I wonder if this is the big ship that was following us. If it was, then Whiskermung has just done us a massive favour in, in wrecking it. Shield Matrix. You know, I think he's just annihilated that, that ship that I've been having so much trouble with. In the last episode, I had a lot of trouble with a, uh, a, a shielded ship that was causing us so much damage. It was, it was unbelievable. But Whiskermung has done it again. Saved us. He, he, does, he does seem quite good at that. <laughs> but it does worry me if we ever annoy him. Ooh, crikey. Will he be bad? Okay, so what have we got? We've got De Devout Arcanian Data Bank. Okay, let's have that. Let's see what that gives us. Monitoring internal communications of the Arcadia uh, sing uh, Singularity excavation team shows suspects used of uh, encryption. Send a Keris to investigate vessel and question. That would be the um, them investigating others, weren't it? Uh, okay, great. This contains some incomplete technical data on a vessel using experimental tech recovered from redacted. The vessel has been lost and there's some internal debate as to whether something went wrong with the new technology or it was sabotaged by her heretic infiltrators. Shield matrices! Yes! This is definitely something I want. This device creates a field maximizing the entropy of energy, essentially dissipating it. If we can find additional components from shielded generators, I think we'll be able to research building our own. Wonderful. Power interface. Uh, designed to keep sudden energy surges from dangerous overload bridge controls. Our system obviously have a similar component, but these uh, there's some interesting new ideas in this one. Excellent. We have loads of stuff. And we have a gate over here. So let's open this. Uh, we always want to open these things. Good. Let's go explore the planets again. I can't believe that Whiskermung came along and saved us from that horror. Because that really was very bad indeed. Hello, Whiskermung. Are you going to try and trade with me? I've, I've never got your money. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've literally never got enough to, to give him. Uh, with great difficulty, Ensign Pyrex 
uh, pilots the lander through a blinding sandstorm. Sensors estimate whatever the signal was, it's not far. That is, if there's anything at all, the huge amount of cha charged dust is wrecking, wreaking havoc uh, with the instruments. Shifting dunes cover and uncover geometry, uh, ge geology features on an almost hourly basis. Uh, okay, we have a 0% on this, so there's a good chance that we're going to fail. I wish there was a way of closing it and not doing that, but uh, there doesn't appear to be. Attempt to pilot the lander to the source of the signal. We don't have any options here. We rolled uh, relatively okay. After nearly an hour of flight, the team is forced to set the lander down to clear out the coolant intake uh, filters. By the time the chore is complete, the uh, an anomaly signal has dissipated. Rats! Okay. Hello, Whiskermung. Please don't shoot me. That's all I ask. Yeah. Alright, so let's get over there and see what this massive planet has. Oh, we, uh, yeah, that's that signal thing, isn't it? We don't have to worry about that. Whew. Ah. Okay. Scan! And deploy a survey team. Right. A recent rock slide has exposed a weathered vessel remaining rem reminiscent of the Red Raider drones. This one seems such uh, much older and within without armaments, probably designed for automated repair of larger structures. I think this may have been what the Red Raiders were based on. The original design wasn't for combat, which would explain their poorer performance. Okay, good. Nice. Maybe I should trade with Whiskermong because he's done so many good things for us that I feel like his prices are probably a method of paying him for his wonderful service in racking things that get in our way. Uh, so, yeah, I, I might have to consider actually paying the man, because uh, he has done a very good job. And there's no way I could have defeated that ship without him. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll talk to him. Okay. Yeah, have you got anything to trade? Have I got anything that I can buy from you? Oh, shield controller. Ah, oh, heck, it's just a little bit too expensive. Ah, boo. Okay, well, there's something else that I want, and that's this. Uh, no, it's not. It's this. I want three of these. Rats. I can't have three of these. I can only have two, and that's too expensive as well. Yeah, bother. Sorry, Riskamung. I haven't got the money that you need. As per usual, I will just look at your trades and then leave. Oh, well. <laughs> He's got to get annoyed with us, just constantly looking at his wares and leaving. Large chunks of the planet's surface has a complex, non-repeated crystalline tessellite pattern. That's nice. Uh, difficult to say, but nice. All right. So, we have explored that wonderful place over there, and it's given us nothing, but it's it's kind of helped us a lot in the process of giving us giving us nothing so that's uh, that's fine we need to get over here which means we need to get over to there but on the way to there is there so let's go there first because uh, we can always do with going back to base especially when we've lost half of our people uh, in the process well not half but a good amount of our people in the process of getting here uh, we, we are down to 27 people out of 35 which is really not good uh, but yeah I could do it going back to all of these places to find out if I've missed anything. I want to go over there as well. This was where we were last time. No, well, not last time. Time before. <laughs> okay. Let us go into the wormhole and get over here. Come over here. Yes! And then over here, if you would. Go to there. Let's talk to them and see what we can get in information and research as well, because obviously the more research we can commit, the, the better. Sometime soon, please ship. Right. Okay, there's no other things for us to do there. We've got 555 in research, so we can definitely do something good. Ooh, we could get the cruiser hull. Ah... The wonders of the cruiser hull. I've not even moved up to the explorer hull yet. Uh, large bulkheads, maybe. Improved deflectors. That sounds good, doesn't it? That's defensive, that is. 
Hmm. Yes, let's have some defensive stuff. I know, it means that I won't be able to get the... Oh, wait a minute. I'm still, I'm still in with the chance of having the other thing. Never mind. Uh, let's see. Material composites. Heavy deflectors. Oh, it's tempting. But we had to look over the other things. We haven't got any better engines yet. Which is a bit of a shame. Uh, what does this do? Don't know. Don't want to spend on it yet. Let's have a look. What have we got? Reactors 2. Anti-proton chains. What does that do? Mm. Batteries Mark 2. Batteries Mark 2 might be good. It might. Arr, tempting. Very tempting. Energy's really useful. Ah. Oh dear. There's so many things to research. Um, scanner Mark 1. We've got all of these things. Deep search. Oh, that's that thing that we just got. Do it. Yes! Then we can see what ships are around. Ship uh, beyond normal sensor range in nearby sectors have a chance of being briefly revealed on the navigation map. Brilliant! Okay, uh, fixed guns. Coil projection. Ah, that sounds interesting. What's that? Extends the range uh, and projectile speed of our fixed guns. We haven't got any fixed guns yet. It's it's fairly important that we know this. <laughs> but if we can shoot things out of um, their range of shooting us, then that would be good, wouldn't it? Okay. Fix guns mark two. <sighs> Maybe. Uh, or bolt defacement. What the heck's that? Increases the damage per unit energy of our fixed guns. Hmm. Vorpal bolts. What are vorpal bolts? If our fixed gun shots hit a module or target beyond a certain health percentage, they will continue through to whatever is behind. Ooh. Mm, these fixed guns might be good, actually. But I will have to have good engines to uh, to reverse our ship afterwards. That's for sure. Fallen Empire. Nanite recovery. Huh, interesting. Okay, we haven't got any research down here yet. But... Eventually we will. Ooh, missiles! Oh yes! Definitely! With the missiles. Good. Okay, deuterium propellant. Mmm, deuterium missiles. Increases the range and speed of our missiles by 10%. Yeah, it's only 10% though, isn't it? Uh, gimbaled thrust. Improves our missiles' um, turn rate, allowing for better targeting tracking. That's a good idea. Actually, attaching missiles to our ship is also a good idea, but, you know, I'll probably not get round to that for an age. Uh, improved yields. Okay, well, as I won't get round to that for an age, I should probably concentrate on the things that I will. Uh, as such, let's go back up here again. Uh, we haven't got enough for this anymore, which is a shame. The batteries Mark II might be useful. Or we could improve our people as well. Plasma fire support. What's that? Every crew member with at least Tactical 1 increases plasma turret accuracy by... Okay, that's interesting. Right. No. I think I'll just gather more research and then come back to this when I when I feel a little bit more confident in what I'm doing. All right. Let's move on. We have done stuff and it was good. Uh, and now we can get to wherever we want, which is to say... Over there. That's where we want to go. Now, is there another place that we can get to that's closer than that? No. Not really. There's another star over there. Did we, how did we get to here without going anywhere in between? Hmm. Okay, we must have just gone straight across. Interesting. Right, so, back to that um, warp gate. And then over to there, and then that way, and then we can get flung. And it's not that far from there, so it shouldn't be all that bad. I already went back here once because these things were um, deposits of loads of stuff that had just been ejected into space, which was very useful indeed because it, uh, it gave us a lot of money. What was that? We pinged a, 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 a trade ship, didn't we? Nice. Okay, there's another one over here. Maybe we can get some trade? Maybe. What's this? That's the monitoring station. Oh, that's the monitoring station. Oh, great. Okay, let's go over there if we can. And see if we get any ships on the way. It's going to take us ages because the uh, the ship hasn't got uh, engines as uh, fast enough. 
I want faster engines. I want much faster engines, so that I can escape at humongous speeds. That would be lovely. Ah, this has started to radiate more th things. Oh, look at all of that. This just shows us how many things are in the area. It had got down to zero things because I, I, I really went in there and investigated it, but uh, it's, it's shown other things since derelict. Take us to the derelict. I want to know what's there. That's really useful. Just think of all of the wonderful derelicts we're going to find now. Hmm. Hello, derelict. What have you got for me? Investigation complete? I've already completed this? Oh, okay, fair enough. That wasn't a very uh, lengthy investigation then, was it? <laughs> you can blow a few parts off the odd derelict here and there, but uh, I don't think I want to do that this time. Uh, because you never know when you're going to find that the derelict is actually useful to stay as it is, as a derelict, rather than a, a, a bunch of uh, destroyed bits of ship everywhere. Though I did dismantle one somewhere else, completely, just to gather whatever we could. Right, we're well underway. I do like my new little explorer. It is f by far better than the previous one, uh, with all of its uh, its nice compact design. I think I'm going to end up with a lot of brick ships, just ships that look remarkably like bricks all the time. That'll that'll be the way I think. <laughs> it seems to work quite well, although the temptation to make a Star Trek type ship is is quite high. Mind you, this doesn't look all that bad for a Star Trek type ship. It's got the right colours. Mm. Right. We have the flinger over here. So let's make it over there as fast as possible. Go, go, go. And then we can go to that place. Off we go. Very soon. I do hope that we can actually activate the thing this time. But I do fear that what we'll face on the other side could be exceptionally dangerous. So we'll just have to see if it is exceptionally dangerous. We, we did have a warning here. Like, beware the exceptional dangerousness of this thingy. What's this? Uh, CXTA hauler. Ah, they don't sell, um, they don't sell stuff to people. Um, who haven't like pre-ordered stuff so they're, they're not going to trade with me which is a shame but you know what can you do you can only work with the what rules that they're going with so yeah we'll work with what rules they're going with hopefully we'll reopen this gate though come on gate we have the thingy do the thing uh, the large artifact is quite advanced but it at least within the technological space we can comprehend. Glyphs on the structure's surface translates to uh, Heretic Portal. Uh, there is an inter interface um, for remote access, but the directions for access seem to be encrypted. Sophist uh, st st what? That analysis suggests just one time pad encryption. We won't break it without the key. Try using the data stored on the device as the key. The explorer detects a sudden increase in energy levels within the structure along with a shift in the local warp space. We've done it. Ha! We've done it! Okay, interesting. So, presumably, we can go in there? Oh, hello. Yes. Evidently so. Wait! We're being shot at! How uncalled for! We haven't shot them first, so, you know, that seems mean. Can we stop lasering our ship? I said stop lasering our ship, would you? Okay, don't go near that thing. Got it. <laughs> wow. That thing is very hostile. It seems like the creators of this the artifact managed to create a temporary wormhole from a specific point of space. I'm guessing that having that point be... Uh, as, as associated with a known gateway made the task simpler yeah all right so they've got a, a, a defender there and it is strong we need to find ways to get past that 
which is probably going to involve using those fixed guns uh, to blast long distance, I reckon. That's probably how that's going to work. Now that will need a refit again, having just refitted the ship. <laughs> we'll have to refit it more. This planet feels like it's getting further away. Okay, we're here finally. What have you got for me, planet? No anomalies. The methane ice crystals on this planet are heavily aligned orthon orthogonal. Okay. Uh, to the planet's weak magnetic field. The uh, uh, mechanism for this is not immediately obvious. Okay, that's nice. Doesn't help us with the problem at hand, does it? Where are we anyway? Ah, there's another star over there and another star over there. So we're quite close to another bunch of stars. That's good. The emissary's following us again. Hello, emissary. I don't know what you've got to do, but, you know, go away if you can. Uh, we have a planet there that's right next to that dangerous station and another planet next to the other... Well, there is only one dangerous station. But can we actually manage to scan anything over there without being blasted by that horrendous station in the process? Could do with having missiles to launch at it, couldn't we? Anything long range would be helpful. Can we get to this and not be bothered by that station? Is the main question. No, that station is way too close. It's really protecting those planets. Oh yeah, yeah, they are launching missiles already. Okay, we can't launch a we can't launch a party to that place, can we? No. How close can our shots get? Really far away. Just scan. I want to scan. Just, just a little scan, maybe. Ah. Ooh, hello. Uh, potential threat in range. You don't say. Really? Yeah, I think you're right there. <laughs> Uh, okay, fine. Let's see if we can get the other planets uh, scanned, which has probably got nothing on it at all. Right. Unfortunately, until we've dealt with that station, we're not getting anything from this. Okay. Well then. You are a mystery that I will attend to later. Horrible thing. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to do the thing that we were doing before, which is to say to jet off to this planet, and uh, this star instead. Go over there. Good. And hope that it's actually useful to us instead of that area, which was kind of not useful to us, really. Uh, but uh, we did our best, right? We did everything that we could. And that was to say, scan a little bit of stuff and then leg it. <laughs> right, well... We'll have to scan a little bit of stuff and leg it again in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.